Okay. You have to read this article, but this is not an exam question. It talks about how as people age, when they have more and more illnesses, more and more health issues, they become weaker and sometimes they need help. And with medical and technological advancements, sometimes all these new gadgets can help them. But the implications are always social. If you scroll through this article, it's going to talk about how sometimes older adults, they can help it. They have to let somebody intrude their personal space. They are not comfortable, but it's beyond their control. They can help it. And maybe partly because of that, the notions of front stage and backstage for older adults may be blur. They are not clear cut when they hit a certain age. It seems that because of medical advancement, people live longer. And sometimes they can maintain their health through all kinds of medication. But as we read, if we continue to read this article, in certain latest development, ingestible chips, sometimes it can intrude our notion of personal space. So these ingestible chips, they can send a signal to our phone, iPad or other gadgets to monitor our heart rate's temperature among other things. And this is one example of how for older adults, Apparently, if you read the definition of ingestible chips, they insert a chip into the pills, the medicine for older adults. And this pill medicine can monitor their heart rate temperature, among other things. Think about this. Their personal space is being intruded and encroached. And if they decide to take these ingestible chips with their medicine, or they also call it digital pill, there's no clear cut of front stage and backstage. In my humble opinion, if they decide to take these ingestible chips with their medication, So all this advancement, maybe this ingestible chip or digital pill can enable people to live longer or healthier at the cost. They sacrifice their personal space. It blurs their front stage and backstage. And last week, we discussed more and more of this technological advancement came about, maybe from industrial revolution right until now. There are all kinds of advancement, including medical advancement for specific age groups, older adults in this case. This can prolong their life. It can delay or prevent aging, but it can also lead to all kinds of social implications. Can you see that? And they call this advancement, if you look at the left panel, information and communication technology or ICT. All these examples they talk about in this article are lumped under ICT, different manifestations of ICT questions so far. And when all these latest technological and medical advancement keeps coming forth, 
it seems that society has a new term for certain people. They call them bio others. This is for people who do not conform to the health and well-being standards of a given society. Bio others refers to people who don't eat healthy, eat junk food all the time, drink alcohol excessively, abuse substance, don't exercise. And sometimes it's beyond their control. If they live in a certain neighborhood, high crime, hardly any public transportation, all they can get is canned food, junk food in the convenience store and lots of liquor store in those neighborhoods. No public transportation. So sometimes people become bio others due to factors beyond their control. And the authors in this article also implies that it seems that some people, they seem to imply that inventors of all these medical technologies, they classify certain people as bio others because they have a certain idealistic notion how people should stay healthy, should maintain their health and well-being, exercise properly, how often they should exercise, what should they eat, how frequent they should eat certain diets from certain food groups. If they deviate from all these norms unofficially created by all these inventors of medical technology, these poor people, poor individuals will be classified as bio others. Any question? And these bio others can pose certain dangers to society, can increase the health burdens to any given society. Are you familiar with the social credit system in China? Does that ring a bell? The social credit system in China? It has been implemented way before COVID. Did you see anything on YouTube or anywhere on the news? Social credit system. Anybody know anything? It seems to me that- I kind of heard about it, uh -huh. but where it's- like they're gonna be like counted like by points. Mm -hmm. Um, and I briefly remember hearing about it in my last sociology class, mm -hmm. but what I do remember more is that people brought up an episode of Black Mirror, mm -hmm. um, which basically had everybody being rated by how they interacted mm -hmm. publicly and socially, mm -hmm. and that um their like their average score depended like their class and their mm -hmm. wealth and what they could buy and um, mm -hmm. where they could live and like all that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. There's an accurate classification or explanation of the social credit system. Thank you. So you can see the article I just shared, right? And so I think it's an app in a phone in China and it keeps track of what people purchase in the store and whether they drive over speed limit or way under speed limit. Whether they bought a lot of liquor, junk food in the store, it keeps track of everything. The government wants to project into the future, near future, midterm future, long term, doesn't matter, on how People, what people consume, how they drive, how they live their life is going to be a health burden or other social costs to the Chinese society. As you can see, the Chinese are being tracked, right? 
and maybe those who do not conform are being classified as bio others. They are deemed as costly to society because it's predicted that they may develop certain health issues because they don't eat healthy. They abuse substance and whatnot. And have you heard of the Foucauldian notion? Anybody know anything about Michael Foucault? Michael Foucault. Anybody learn anything about Michael Foucault in your high school, other college classes? I think Foucault is a French philosopher, theorist, social scientist, among other things. And if you Google Michael Foucault, if you read his background, you will know where he's coming from. It seems that if I recall correctly, his father was a physician and his mother's father, maternal grandfather, was also a physician. Maybe this led him to study. I think he learned something else, not medicine, but I could be wrong. He was also a philosopher, among other things. Maybe through his writings, through his pursuit of knowledge, given his background, family of doctors, he may have observed something that when people have certain knowledge, skills, or expertise, they tend to dominate that knowledge to the point that they have power over others in that society without that knowledge. This is his main premise in his theory. Knowledge enables somebody to have power over others without that knowledge in a society. Are we clear? And what is the Foucauldian notion? Foucauldian notion is something like an ideal type, an idealistic notion of certain expectations people have to abide in any society. These expectations are considered the norm in that society. This is what we mean by Foucauldian notions of normalization. And this normalization can also be a form of social control. Think about this, right? In the case of bio-others, it can be explained through the lens of Foucauldian notion of normalization. People are expected to eat certain things, certain amounts of different fruit groups, exercise in a certain way, recommended by experts. If they deviate from the expectations regarding dietary habits and exercise, they are considered deviating from the norms of that society. Can you see that? So it seems that when all these technology are invented to ease the life of older adults, sometimes this technology can also serve as a form of social control. Can you see that? And because of that, the author of this article